Yes, welcome to my belated episode 50 of Pokemon XD Hail of Darkness Let's Play. Sounded better in my head. Yeah, anyway, um, as soon as you leave the part shop, a crane will send you email saying, Hey, insert player name here, you need to get back to the Pokelab pronto. Yeah, ignore your super awesome speedboat, I got something more super awesome than a speedboat. And we can hear the random movements in the background, not in the normal room I record in since I do this on a laptop. So, I'm, I can go where, I can LP wherever I want to, and that's the puppy running around. Yeah. Hey, yeah, let's go back to the lab pronto before they turn or burn down Toronto. Man, that line would have been a lot more funny if, if I said it properly. You know, only I'm pretty sure only two of you will actually know that reference. Since everyone I know had never heard that movie. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Crane's right here. Yes. Da -ba 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 -ba. Anyway, he's gonna walk over here, and for some reason you're in this room. Yeah, you got the, your shadow shadow. Snagging machine. Oh my god. Secret stairs. This is a room with the secret room. Yeah. Who has a secret room? A se no, it's who has a secret room? A secret room? A secret house on a secret island? It's Benjamin Linus. Yeah. I guess you sort of do have a secret room inside a secret room. But on a not so secret lab in a not so secret region. Secret region. Yeah. My words are everything third today. Yeah. Anyway, right here we have a chest. Open up. Master Ball. Oh my god. Yep. Yes, he basically tells you, I know, I've been playing this game forever. I think I know what a Master Ball does by now. You, know, you really need, at the beginning of every Pokemon game, you say, Have you played this game before? I've played it before. I know exactly what I'm doing. You know. So you can skip all the battling tutorials, say, you know, basically it's like, Okay, what's your gender and your name here? Yep. Oh, Togepi's ready. I don't want to get Togepi in a minute. Here, if I Togepi in a minute, we can go get that Electric Kid. Yeah. One time I'm not going to use this. I want it for the sake of having it, I guess. I'm going to store my Master Ball. In case they accidentally use it, I'll totally punch myself in the face and multiple other body parts. Yeah. That has happened before. I used, accidentally used it on a Diglett once. Pokemon Blue, I think. Yeah. I was not happy. So I really wanted that Diglett, but I didn't even throw a Master Ball at it, so I gotta restart my game and go find the Diglett. You know. It was a good like, Diglett, too. That Diglett was special. Okay. It wasn't like some any other Diglett in Diglett Cave. It was the Diglett. You know. That Diglett slapped Dig Drio. Doug Drio's on the line. It was like, I'm Diglett, you're gonna do exactly what I say, bitch. You ain't got no hands. Yeah, and then the pimpin' Diglett, I guess. I don't know, if you can do my pimp voice better. Man, I'm so getting so many email, angry PMs. If I actually get more subs, you know. Like, you're saying that because Diglets look like they're black. No, I'm not saying I'm saying it's the Diglett was awesome. Which now it sounds like I'm, you know, saying pimps are, you know, good people, which they're not. You know, they, yeah. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I'm just digging my hole more deeper now. Yeah. Anyway, here's the Togepi. I purified it. Yeah. I think Diglett was awesome because, I, mean, I don't know, it was just, it had this aurora to it where it was like, this Diglett need to catch it, so I threw my Ultra Ball at it and I actually ended up scrolling down too far and threw a Master Ball at it. Just saved me for like Mewtwo or something when I, you know, go around and go catch him again. Yeah. Of course, it wasn't that big of a deal since, you know, um, I think the whole problem was I ended up doing the, uh, the old man glitch, which old man Simbar Island glitch, you know what I mean? Yeah, anyone who's ever played that game knows what I mean. Yeah, you got the whatever amount of Master Balls, I don't even remember the number. I, only, I never knew the number until I saw it one time on, I think, Bulbapedia or something, and I completely forgot it. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, if you know the number, leave it in a comment, because I don't remember. Yeah. Anyway, past this guy, let's go give the Togepi back to this guy, which is... Now, there's something special about this Electric Kid. If you give it to Shadow Togepi, yes, I know. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I know, I have the Togepi in the party. Yes, I'll give you your stupid Togepi back. It wasn't even a shiny. Another reference. 
It's done. Okay, and you don't even get the tr yeah the really cool you know trade sequence in this game. It's really cool. Yeah, the really cool trade sequence is really cool. Anyway, so it's something special to select the kid. It has ice punch, fire punch, thunder punch, and cross chop. Now, if you um, purify Togepi and evolve him into Togetic, you'd still trade it back to this guy, but it, I don't think it'll have cross chop. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty cool, like the kid. You, know, just, you get it so late in the game. You know, it's sort of like um, yeah, Lucario in you know Generation Four in Heart of Gold, Silver, so, and not Heart of Gold. Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, which I actually made my Diamond playthrough. I actually did manage to use Lucario. But it just took me forever to train it. Yeah. But it was cool. That Lucario was awesome. I highly recommend using it. Anyway, here's the um, Robo Kyogre. Or yes. Anyway, you get this really cool sequence. Going to the island for the first time. Like how it bounces. Here's Kurdak Isle. Yes, as you see, the poorly rendered GameCube graphics of, you know, islands in 3D. Do your swooping motion. There's this big boss. And you just missed him, you know, by that much. Holds up fingers to show the length of how much you missed him, which is totally, you know, not really true since more like this much shows more accurate size, but, you know. Anyway, this guy, he's like, WTF, you doing here, man? Yeah, and he is the first one to battle you right off in the bat. You know, you get out of your boat, and this guy's like, Hey, screw you, man. Battle me. <laughs> and Crawdunt and Pelipper. Pelipper. I know Pelipper doesn't really sound like that, but I made them sound like that. Because I felt like it. Here's Houndoom and Jolteon. Okay. And cut. Crawdunt's down. He, what, uh, what does he have next? He has a... Mantine, which is down. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I edit this right. I don't know. Maybe you guys have done this forever. And normally talk about some stupid, you know, BS politics or whatever. And here's Golduck, and is in fact a Shadow Golduck. Yeah. And here's Pelipper, and what does he have next? He has a. Uh, yep, Skullduck's still there. Uh, anyway, can you throw out your next Pokemon, please? Sableye! And is, in fact, a Shadow Sableye! Yeah, if you don't want to make a plot twist, if you watched my last video, or I think it was the video before last, actually a couple of videos ago, when I'm, I beat What's His Face, and I showed the whole list of the other 40 something missing Shadow Pokemon. Anyway, Sableye is caught. Oh, nope, not caught. There actually is a new Generation 5 Pokemon that has no weakness. It's electric type and it has um, levitate, meaning you can't hit it with ground type attacks. And that's electric's only weakness. Which only reminded me because Sableye is also one of the Pokemon I have with no weakness, and so it is um, Spear Tomb. Man. Here's Bite. Uh -huh. For some reason I'm showing this, I don't know. You know, because I'm going to count in like four seconds. And the Shadow Ray. Yeah, uh, boom chicka boom chicka boom 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 chicka. Yeah, not doing it fast enough. Not enough flashy lights either. Not enough, um, I don't know. Yeah, I had a song named my head, yeah. It dis disappeared. I don't know. Hey, Gold, like, you teach me how to Dougie. There. <laughs> For some, sort of, I don't know. Anyway, shake. 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 Good. Oh, and another thing reminds me Duration 5. It's of uh, the. Critical captures, which are basically critical hits but Pokeballs, and they almost never fail, which I thought was pretty cool. You know, keep on chucking out legendaries, eventually you'll get the critical capture or whatever, you know, catch them. You know, which I thought was like, that is totally needed. Like, so bad. I don't know, it used to be, back in the day, you'd, you know, buy 200-something Ultra Balls, and you would go out to find Articuno, and, you know, try to battle it over and over again. You'd spend two hours trying to catch it, and you'll be like, hey guys, oh, I caught Articuno, you didn't because you guys suck. And they're like, yeah, we do suck. And there's so many flippin' legendaries that are all gonna be hard to catch. It's just annoying, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, let's see right here. So I just got two, two new Shadow Pokemon. Let's 
give you a current update. Anyway, yeah, I had to go do something real quick. Yeah, um, yeah, I forgot the... Uh, can I please... Uh. Anyway, yeah, see, I changed out my shadow team real quick. This guy's, I don't think I picked up anything. I didn't pick up anything to replace um, Togavi. Anyway, trying to get the elevator. The douchebags went up. Doesn't want to work. And look okay, at what we have to do in here then. Do 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 do. I don't know. I've been using a lot of stronger language than normal. I'm not really cussing though, but still. Something you don't want to say at school, kids. <laughs> look suspicious. I want you to go in. You look suspicious. I won't let you go in. <laughs> I don't know, but that made me laugh. Yeah. I do not look suspicious. You will let me in. Like, no. And Hound Doom and Jolteon. Dunsparce. Dun, Dunsparce, Sparce. Dunsparce is pretty cool. He's. I don't know. I like Dunsparce. People say he's ugly. People say he's stupid. I say he looks pretty darn cool. And, well, he's not very good. But still, he looks pretty cool. He's better than Magikarp. Which. <laughs> I think it's funny with the, the one of the rarest Pokemon in, in Generation 5. Well, black, black and white Magic Card is one of the rarest Pokemon. Uh, being the only non Generation 5 Pokemon to get in the game before the National Dex. So that was pretty cool. I had to buy it for like 500 Poke Dollars. Sort of like I'm um, in uh, red, blue, yellow, fire red, leaf green. Yeah. Where you can buy the Magic Card for $200, which I thought was probably the funniest thing I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. Well, actually, one of the fun I think the funniest thing I've seen in a Pokemon game was the um, was after the bomb goes off in uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. He's like, "Hey, old dude and kids," <laughs> says it like really loud. Yeah. Anyway, let's heal up. Do 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 do. Uh, my sound effects are totally off. And going over here. Okay, weird green fluids of mysterious origins. I don't know. My words are being slower today, if you haven't noticed. And just to reiterate myself, reiterate to myself, these that was, man, it's proven my point. And yeah, these what's so cruiser guys like, hey, you know where the boss went? And ch we chased him off. No. Trust me, if we put the boss right now, we'll be slaughtered, you know. Because by how high level Pokemon they are, but since this area is so long, you'll actually be, you know, you don't even need a level grind or anything. You'll be ready, you know, at the very end of this whole segment of the, you know, Kurdak Island and stuff. Hey, this guy starts out by shout Shadow to a trio. Yeah. And Mazatu is down. I managed to go a whole, almost a whole video about yawning. The Wish Cash. Um, it's a Drio. See if I can catch it. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Okay, shake. Shake. Oh, nope. Okay, and Tay. Oh, Wish Cash is down. He's pretty annoying. I not like Wish Cashes. Wish Cash. Wish crush And here's a Raticate. And look at this, it's a Shadow Raticate. Called it! Yeah. And try to catch Dodrio again. Can we catch it? Can we not? Can we can? Who? I don't know. I don't know, I, my brain apparently isn't working. It isn't firing on all cylinders, if you know what I mean. And let's catch Raticate. Yeah, it's nothing really cool here. Um, should mention you have to rebattle all the bosses and this whole, you know, I'll tell you when the boss is coming up, but at the end of this floor, if you're, you know, planning on playing ahead, you know, past this episode, if you're playing along, if you're even watching this, yeah, there is a boss at the end of this floor, so I suggest you go back and heal, um, you know, after a couple fights, you know, basically just elevator in the center, after you get to the elevator, that's where the boss is, so, you know, that isn't obvious, because they don't really give you a lot of warning to it. It's this place is basically a, you know, a square spiral, if that makes sense. Anyway, next, not for this episode, next episode we'll finally probably get to that boss. See you next time.